Many municipalities and states have laws regulating the frequency of service and other specifics related to grease traps. In this case, we will be demonstrating a grease trap service conforming within the laws of Austin, Texas. The reason most municipalities require the installation and use of grease traps is because they want as much waste and food solids commonly found in restaurant kitchen wastewater removed from the kitchen before it enters the municipal water system. Hello, I'm John Deary with Liquid Environmental Solutions, a non-hazardous liquid waste service provider. We're here today to demonstrate proper grease trap service and maintenance. Most restaurants are required to have a grease trap or grease interceptor installed as part of their plumbing and wastewater management system. In general, a grease trap is a collector of fats, oils, and greases, which are commonly referred to as FOGs. A grease trap is usually a concrete tank buried outside the food service establishment somewhere near the perimeter of the kitchen. Let's begin with our demonstration. This is one of our new 4,000 gallon capacity aluminum vacuum tanker trucks. Our trucks have many tools and features that allow the thorough and efficient cleaning of a grease trap. We will discuss each tool and feature as we go through the process of proper grease trap service. The first step is to park the vacuum truck in a safe position near the grease trap. The service technician then makes restaurant management aware that we are on the property to service the grease trap. Hello, how you doing? My name is Mike. I'm with Liquid Environmental Solutions. I'm here to clean out your grease trap. Sounds good. Don't get me when you're through. We'll get it in No problem. It'll be about 30 minutes. Safety cones are used to alert pedestrians to use caution in the area. The trap lids are then removed. The backup of grease in the municipal wastewater system can, over time, cause backups and overflows in the sanitary sewer lines. Hoses are run from the truck into the trap. Using a remote control, the vacuum pump is turned on. The process of removing the waste begins. The vacuum is the most important tool in this process. While FOGs and food solids are being vacuumed out of the grease trap, pressurized water is used to more thoroughly clean the trap. Pressurized water, along with the use of scraping tools, help remove grease buildup on the side walls and the PVC pipes inside the grease trap. All grease and water must be removed from the inside of the trap. A pressurized power washer and the scraper are very important tools in the process. Please note that there are two sides to this grease trap. That is because the grease trap is designed to have two separate processes to minimize FOGs and food solids from entering the municipal wastewater system. The entry side of the trap is designed to capture most of the FOGs and food solids, and the second side is designed to capture any FOGs and food solids that make it through the baffle wall that separate the two sides of the grease trap. Once the waste has been removed from both sides of the grease trap, it is now time for the next step in the process called hydrojetting. Hydrojetting, or jetting, is basically a high pressure rooting process performed from the trap into the plumbing lines that run in and out of the grease trap. This service helps remove solids and grease that may build up in the lines leading to and from the grease trap. Many restaurants elect to take advantage of hydrojetting as a preventative maintenance measure, but we recommend this service to be performed at least twice a year. This helps ensure proper maintenance and operation of the grease trap system. Once all services have been performed, one final vacuum is done to ensure all water, FOGs, and food solids are removed from the grease trap. 
The service technician then completes a trap inspection report. It is now time to place the lids back on the grease trap. I'm finished servicing your grease trap. Would you like to inspect it now? Most cities require a written manifest that documents when the grease trap was pumped, how many gallons were removed, and when and where the waste was disposed. Looks like everything was serviced properly. Ain't no problem, I appreciate it. If you just print and sign on the city manifest form, we'll see you again in 12 weeks. Sounds good. Once the waste has been collected, it's brought here to our treatment plant. We then process, recycle, and dispose of the waste properly. These are the steps in proper grease trap maintenance. I appreciate you taking the time. I'm John Deary with Liquid Environmental Solutions. Thank you.